Hello, I'm back from Gudvangen. I am not sick, I just lost my voice because apparently I talk too much. Anyhow, uh, this is just to show you an easy way to start, a really easy way to start in null binding. You take the end of the yarn and you go under, over and through. So you're making a pretzel knot, that's really all it is. But you want the bottom, when you put it on your thumb, you want the bottom to point down. So you hide this in your hand, you have one around your thumb, and you have the leader yarn, which I call because it goes to the needle in the front. So then to make also, I'm going to need one stitch behind. So I literally just go under that, lock it with this thumb so things don't fly, they like to fly, and then push it through, pointing, pulling downwards, not upwards. Downwards. So now I have my new loop here and my old loop here. So take the old loop off and now I'm ready for Oslo where you go through, twist and you go under and under, lock, push through, pull in a downwards motion and trap the new one under the old one. Take that one off and that's it. Now if I wanted Malmin or Corgan, I would have to start with two loops behind my thumb. If I wanted Bruden, I'd have to start with three loops behind my thumb. Longerid needs four, Bolstow needs five, and so on and so forth. The more thumb loops you use behind your thumb, the thicker it gets. So that way you can adjust to any yarn you want to use. So, if I wanted to have more loops behind my thumb, I would start the same as I did before my one loop, go through there, lock, trap the new one under the old one. Now I have one loop, but I want another one, so I'm putting that back. Same thing, under everything. Now I have three loops, two behind my thumb and one there, and then I can continue. So that is about the easiest start I know. I don't always use it, but it is extremely easy.